Hey everyone! So I have had a few requests now to do a video like this um, and it's actually going to be a pretty simple video um, but you guys have been asking how I use Todoist to you know stay organized and how I use it for my business um, and I've gotten a couple different emails asking for like a tutorial on how I'm using it um, but it's actually really simple so I figured I would just show you my Todoist page you know my in my account um, I'm going to show you the desktop version because I actually don't use the app very often. Uh, most of my day is done from home. Most of the work that I'm doing within Todoist is something that needs to be done at the computer anyway. So I use um, the little like Google Chrome extension and I use the desktop version for the most part. Um, I am also on a Mac so... You know, it might look a little different on a PC, but the basic ideas are the same. I'm just going to show you how I split up all of my tasks and how I use it to kind of stay organized. All right, so this is my Todoist account. Um, like I said, this is the desktop version. And you can see that on Max, um, there is like a little... I always forget what they're called, these little icons. Um, so you can quickly add a task and open Todoist and things like that. So really quick, I just wanna talk about the inbox. Um, there's a few videos that I've watched, like some tutorials on YouTube, where people's inboxes are completely full. And I want to kind of explain the reason why mine is empty. Um, I use my inbox as kind of a brain dump spot. So anytime that I'm out running errands or you know I'm on the go or I'm at work, and I quickly think of something that needs to be done, I will just add it to my inbox. And then every day, at the end of the day, I go through my inbox and I sort it into the correct project and I add the correct due dates or you know anything else, any other details that need to be added. This is kind of like you know my email inbox. This is where it goes and once I have opened it for the second time, it needs to go somebody, somewhere else. Um, and if there is not a place for it to go, I need to make a home for it. So um, that is why my inbox is empty. And then I'm going to, I guess, show you my projects next. So I did add little icons um, for my phone. I just added work today um, because I was adding stuff my, to my inbox and I realized I needed a work project. So there's no icon on that yet. Um, this first one, Nora Conrad, is anything that has to do with my business. So I have admin, which is just reoccurring business tasks that need to be done. And I have content. Um, these are, you know, blog posts that I already have planned, things I need to outline, maybe guest posts I need to edit, things like that. And then everything else just kind of falls into, um, you know, my Nora Conrad just main project, like filming this video. Um... And this one can actually be dragged into admin. So basically admin is all those reoccurring tasks that you have to do with business, um, updating my bookkeeping, cleaning out MailChimp, you know, just those things that kind of fall under, <laughs> get put on the back burner often. I have reminders for myself. I have it set to let me know every few weeks or whatnot, um, just to keep me on track. Next up, I have personal development. Um, I like to kind of keep track of a lot of different stuff in my life. Um, one of the things I'm working on this year is reading 52 books. So I have a list of books that I have heard people talk about or books that I have on my reading list. Um, just so if I'm out at a bookstore or, you know, if I'm at a friend's house and they have books I can borrow, I can kind of go through my list and see if they have any of these. Um, and then I check them off as I complete them. For the most part, though, I use Goodreads for my book list. Um, Goodreads.com, it's like a website for books. Um, in career, I am just, those are just like little goals and stuff for myself. Things like updating my portfolio, um, you know, maybe learning new skills relating to a career, like learning how to type faster, learning a new language, things like that. Um, declutter are things that I need to go through to get rid of. My husband and I are working on um, getting rid of debt. So these are kinds of things that we want to stop spending money on or things we need to get rid of. Um, go through, maybe sell if they're in good quality. Um, and then also some digital clutter. Things like unsubscribing from email lists, um, cleaning out bookmarks, um, updating our profiles and things like that. And along with that, we have our debt kind of checklist here. Um, 
so we're just using this to just kind of you know, keep an eye on what needs to be done. We just started the Dave Ramsey program, and I will probably do some videos about that in the future. So if you're interested in that, let me know. Um, but we do have a lot of debt to pay off, unfortunately, a lot of student loans. So um, we are just keeping track of that in here. And then I also have goal tracking. Um, I used to do this in my bullet journal, but I think it works a little better digitally. I used to forget to fill it out. So um, things like drinking a full glass of water in the morning and before bed. Um, I have a like squat and push-up challenge that I'm doing, so that's just kind of to remind me to do it. Um, I'm learning sign language right now, so remembering to practice that. Um, and then life improvement are things either stuff I do every day. Um, my sister's texting me. Um, so stuff like reading the Bible, taking my vitamins, things like that. And then there's also things that just generally will improve my life. So like making a list of recipes that we love. Um, that makes meal planning easier and it's kind of a big project, but once it's done, it will improve our life. So things like that. And then faith is um, devotionals or things I'm working on to further my Bible studies. Um, work is for my day job. These are just tasks I need to um, remember to do in the future for my day job. And then life and stuff um, is kind of where a lot of other things fall. So my Google Calendar automatically fills in into here. Um, things like events and webinars that I have coming up. And I move those as needed into, you know, different projects that fit it better. I also have a bucket list. Um, this is not everything on my bucket list. But these are things I want to complete in the next year to two years. Um, so I have them in here so I can add due dates. Um, for example, a half marathon, I am hoping to do that hopefully this year. Um, so I am going to, you know, schedule the training days and all that stuff in here. So I have it in here ready to go and all of this kinds of, you know, things and just goals that I want for life, um, and things to just work on. Some of them are just fun and might never happen, but it's nice to have a quick view of those. Um, then we have dinner ideas. We do meal plan. This is kind of half completed. <laughs> we have recipes on some of them and not others. Um, but these are all meals that me and my husband both really enjoy and are quick to make. So we're still kind of building this up. But this is just helpful for, you know, pulling quick recipes and things like that. Um, then we have groceries. We have Alexa's or the little Echo Dots. So um, Google not Google, Todoist and Alexa um, connect to each other. So anything that we add to our shopping list on Alexa automatically moves into here. And then anything else we just kind of fill in as we go. Sure. And my little Echo thought I was talking to it just now. <laughs> then I have chores. Um, we don't have a lot in here right now, but cleaning my makeup brushes, I do that every two weeks, but I usually forget. So I set a reminder there and we get our Wedding rings cleaned every six months, so we have that in here as well. And then ideas. Um, these are just either YouTube video ideas, content ideas, podcast ideas, things that I'm not really sure where I want to put it yet, um, but just, you know, content ideas that I kind of add on to as I go. And then I have business operations. This one is massive. I have a bunch of projects in here. And basically what it is, is my workflows. So for every single blog post I write, I work through this workflow. And I can use these as templates by copying the project. Um, I can share it with my team members or I can email the tasks to my clients, um, depending on how we're going to use that. I do have labels. Um, however, I don't really use them very often. I probably should, but... I just find that, you know, I use the projects more often than the labels, but I do have some labels here just to kind of bookmark things or if I have a lot of tasks in one day just to kind of um, better sort them. And then I also have filters. Again, I don't use this that much. Um, for a while, we were using the weekly <laughs> menu filter, so we would add a priority flag to it to add it to this filter. So you know, whatever our meals were for the week, we would add the flag to it. But now we actually plan our meals for an entire month. So we don't really use this much anymore. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the basics. 
So that's pretty much it. Um, I really use Todoist just kind of the basic way. I do have a premium account just because I do share my um, projects and tasks and things with my husband and with um, my team. But for the most part, I just kind of use the basic idea of Todoist. Um, there are a couple rules that I follow for myself. One, that I go through all of my projects every single week, um, not including the business operations, because like I said, those are just workflows. Um, they're more there just kind of for me to have a copy of. Um, but I do go through all my projects once a week and I make sure that anything that doesn't have a due date and needs one has one added. Um, and I also go through and, you know, delete any tasks that might have become irrelevant or that maybe I already did. Um, I do add a lot of tasks. Um, I really kind of do it day by day. So a lot of times the night before, um, I will go through and just add everything I have to do for the day. Um, just kind of brain dump everything into Todoist and then go in and add all the due dates and, you know, kind of organize it. Um, I think Todoist is such an easy app. It works so well because you can use it on desktops, on your phone, in your browser. You can use the web version. It's just really flexible. And I think just today, actually, they announced the integration with Google Calendar so you can even see it within your Google Calendar, which I do use as well. Um, so there's so many different ways to use Todoist and it's just a very simple but flexible platform. Um, I still do use Asana now and then for working with my team, only because it works a little better with our workflow and my team was already trained on Asana, so we just still use that. But if I didn't work with other team members, I would probably use Todoist exclusively. So that is pretty much it, you guys. If you have any questions about Todoist or if you want me to do like, um, I don't know, more in-depth tutorial showing you like tips and tricks and like different I don't know, tips into using it, let me know. Um, I can kind of do some research and find some tips for you guys. I don't use a lot of things. Um, but yeah, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you guys have. All right, that's everything. I will see you in the next video.